hello welcome once again to my channel today we'll be talking about um, how to write a successful successful application well if you are just coming for the first time don't forget to click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification button so that you don't miss um, this kind of opportunity and um, if you are coming um, again to my channel thank you so much for always coming to watch a video and um, we hope that um, it's been a very good um, time for you and um, wonderful experience. And um, I also hope you've been learning one of two things from this video as a startup or as a business owner, or you have an NGO that you want to do a pro project. So today, like I said, we'll be talking about um, the application, writing a successful application. Uh, one thing that I always like to emphasize on application is that putting your best, you know, putting your best. Don't just say that, uh, just write it and I have a good idea. No, present it well. Your application speaks for you when you are not there. It's your application that they will read and want them to like be like, they want to learn more, they want to know more. And that's where you get to the second stage. You know, some of the time they shortlist some people to get to the final stage. So if you make sure that you, when you're writing your application, put in your best, don't just write jaga jaga and just like okay it's there if you don't know how to write it you can get help for that you can get someone to help you to write it uh, very well or you get someone to review it for you you could there's so many people out there that do that um, uh, for people like probably for talking or something but it is something that will speak for you out there it, it speaks for you when you're not there so when you're writing your application make sure that you put some things that are very very important especially when you are being just asked to talk about your just describe your business or describe what you do so um make sure that you you talk about your idea your idea they want to know about if it's innovative if it's if it's um then they want to know if it's sustainable if it's something that when you are not being given the money will it still work will you still be able to like get money to fund that idea to continue with that project you know, these are the things that they want to look at. And they want to look at this wow factor, like something that will wow them. Like, what is in, like, you, you, they, 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 they will look over and over and over and over again, like, what is this? Like, they are just captivated without that thing that you do. So you have to get something that will wow them. Something that will just, like, wow. Wow, this is so beautiful. Like, this is dust. This person we must choose this person like must choose you know this kind of these are the kind of things that you make sure that you put in your application and make sure that when you're writing your application you know talk about i don't know the kind of question that they may ask it depends on the kind of question they might ask you to pitch your business in just 50 words so make sure that you don't exceed those words and when they tell you to talk about your business in like 250 words please don't go and be writing 20 words though they know what they want when they write 250 they want you to like tell them and give them instance like um, like um, make sure that you give them some 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 examples some some scenario like something that some things have happened probably you can just relate it those questions or your answer related to what has happened to you or your business so those are the kind of things that you make sure that you put in there do you understand that so you can't just you, they can't say that I write to 50 word and you write 20 word no that's why they, they say that not more than 50 words. They did not say that not more than 20 words. They want it to be much. They want you to put some scenario. They want you to put some words, some, some examples there. They want to see you. They, they, want to like, they, they want to be able to understand you very well through your writing, through what you put out there, through what you do. So if you, if you are writing these things, you know, I always advise people, like, make sure that you write, like, if it's possible, write up to like 70%. If you cannot, if you cannot write everything finished, if you probably you've written the number that you know and everything, but don't, when they say no less than 250 words, don't go and be writing 20 words, don't go and be writing 50 words, please. At least make it over 100 words. It's very, very good to do that. So if you cannot write the 250 words, if it's possible, make it over, over 200 or 200 words. So just make sure that you are within that range. So those are the things that you need to make sure that you take notes when they are asking you to write your application. And in your application, for your application to be successful, please, nobody is ready to, to, to read stories. Go straight to the point. And that's why you see some people saying that you should do one minute video because they don't want you to like keep parabolating up and down. Just get straight to the point. 
like probably they want you to tell them your name, what you do, the reason as in what motivates you to do what you do. Who are the people that you are doing it for? Do you understand? Where are you doing it? You tell them your location, the reason why you are doing it in that location. So, so many things like that. You could even tell them that, okay, your vision, like the reason, like you want to achieve the vision that you want to achieve. Probably one of these days too, I'm going to tell, tell us about how to, how to um, get our vision, how to write our vision and our mission. Probably when you will start our business plan because I'm going to teach us how to write our business plan from one, as in from, from point one to the end, from the beginning to the end. So just make sure that you get ready for that. We'll be taking one, 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 one topic like from the business plan every day until everybody can write their business plan. So we are going to start that one by next month, by the grace of God. So get uh, prepared for that to know that you are going to have your own complete, your standard business plan by next month. So we are going to work on it together. But before that time, I I'm just trying to like tell off few things that you need to understand about writing your applications. And when you want to write your application, one of the things that you should do is make sure that if it's possible for you to copy the questions, copy it to Word, Microsoft Word, and go and write it there. So when you write it there, it's good for you. You can just, because sometimes there might be network problem and you click submit like this and network just go. And you need to now go over and start doing your application again. You, it's, it's very, very discouraging. That's happened to me a couple of times before I now started writing in Microsoft Word. And by putting it in Microsoft Word, it allows me to keep record of what I've written. And it helps me, like, um, whenever I want to apply for another program, I just need to, like, update it because sometimes the questions are somehow similar. So I just put those um, answers and just copy and paste them into that one. Or probably if I've done some other things again and update them. That's what I do most of the time. So if you, I have all my applications, like, application for this, application for this one, application for this one. So I just make sure that I save it in my Microsoft Word and just copy and paste and submit. So it's always easy for me to just copy and paste to submit instead of me to be typing it on this thing. Anything can just happen to the network and just go away. So one of the things that I advise us to do is that for a successful application. And um, just, just make sure that you do your best, honestly. Just, just make sure you do your best. Don't, just, don't take it for granted. Don't take any application for granted. Put in your best. Don't think that they will not choose you. What if you are the one they are looking for? Please try your best and just write, pour your heart out there. When they ask about the problem, put it there. They want to know about the problems and like the problem you are trying to solve, what you are trying to solve. And if it's possible for you, make sure that you state the kind of um, sustainable development goals, SDGs, that your solution is contributing to. You know, you can tell them that your solution is contributing to one of the sustainable development goals. So this helps this because these sustainable development goals, they are the global problems. And you, you are in your local place solving the, um, um, the solution. So this helps you in like, you know, saying that your local, prob your local solution is actually solving a global problem. And with this, they can relate to you that, okay, since your local solution is solving a global problem, that means that it has the ability to scale because, because it, it can, it can, you can relate, it is relatable. You can relate it to other, 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 um, other problems out there, outside your country, outside your own um, scope. So all these things, they will now say, that, okay, I think we can, we can really, we can really empower this, um, this, this business. We can support this business because if we support this business, it's going to help. Um, not just, uh, it's not just about um, Israel community, but probably the nation as a whole, the continent, and even the globe at large. So these are the kind of things that you should make sure that you put in your application so that they understand that your local solution is not just for your community. It's not just for that, your local, just your local place. It's not just for your house alone. It's not just for your family. Let them understand that it is for, it is, it is, it's, going to, it's, it's going to, if they, if they support this business, it's going to up millions of lives. Like it's going to, so all these kind of things are things that you should make sure that you put in your application when you're writing your application. And um, I pray that um, you guys are going to be successful in your application. Um, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any question about that, you can just put it below. And don't forget to share this video with your loved ones so that they too they can benefit from it and you know and um, win together. That is that is the main thing that we want. Thank you so much once again for watching and if you've not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button below. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.